All right guys, so summertime fishing's coming up and probably one of the, the best fish catching baits in a long time during the summertime is a 10 inch Berkeley power worm. You know, and here's a 10 inch, that's a 10 inch Berkeley power worm. I eat fish this worm a lot, but I also love the 12 inch one. You can see the difference between, you know, the 10 and 12. And the 12 inch worm, you'll still catch pound and a half fish on this. I don't know why they want to eat something so big, but they do. But big worms produce fish where a lot of the small finesse baits are just aren't working. So the 10 inch power worm is like a go-to standard this time of year. Now, but as far as fishing it, I think traditionally everybody wanted to, you know, over the years rig all their worms Texas style. Sliding sinker, weedless worm hook. I found that when I'm fishing a 10 inch worm, because you're typically fishing offshore a little bit, secondary points, main lake stuff, whatever it might be. I catch way more fish rigging a 10 inch worm, different setups. So uh, the two techniques I'm using now for fishing a 10 inch power worm is gonna be a shaky head and a Nico style. So this jig head right here, that's a, the Trocar Pro V Tungsten. It's got a much larger hook than a lot of traditional, you know, smaller shaky heads. The difference is how the bait falls in the water. Shaky head, falls completely different in the water than a Texas rig. And a Nico rig falls completely different than everything else. So that's gonna be my setup right there. But that setup right there to me outfishes a Texas rig when you're fishing offshore. Uh, the bait wants to glide more on the fall. So you tend to get more bites on the fall. And as far as fishing, you know, I'm gonna cast it out and then I'm gonna let it hit the bottom. and. Uh, when the water warms up, I tend to work the bait a little bit faster, so I don't have to worry about dragging it on the bottom as much. I tend to hop the bait, make it come off the bottom more. So you want that bait coming up, down, and letting the ribbon tail create a lot more of that action, fluttering vibration uh, as the tail's following and going up. So if you have not fished a, a big 10 inch or even a 12 inch Berkeley power worm on a shaky head, I think you're gonna be really surprised how many more fish you're gonna catch on it. Still weedless, you can bring it through brush piles and over stumps, uh, so it works great from that standpoint, but definitely. So let's talk about, let's rig up a Nico rig and show you the difference on that one as well. For me, it's I'm doing more and more of it than ever before. Uh, I just think the presentation is different. Uh, it generates a lot of strikes. You get a lot more action out of a worm than you do with any other setup. So. As far as I said, and, and I think people think Nico fishing, they're talking about finesse worms, um, you know, four or five, six inch worms. And that is not true. You can use a Nico rig with any size worm, whether it's gonna be a 10 inch, 12 inch power worm, doesn't matter. So let's go with a 12 inch. So here's a 12 inch power worm. I'm gonna use a number one knot, two watt, trocar Nico finesse hook. It's like that, still pretty heavy wire. You can fish on a 15 pound test if you need to. Uh, still be able to good, get a good hook set. Typically, if I'm going to fish this, I'm tending to be fishing offshore. Uh, I'm going to be fishing in whatever five to thirty foot of water. So I tend to use heavier weights in the summertime. I'll, sometimes you want a really fast fall. Sometimes you want a slow fall. That being said, I tend to put O-rings on my big worms because if I put a bigger weight on there, when you cast hard, uh, you can rip the hook out of the soft plastic, and you lose your worm, you lose your weight. So I just got a simple O-ring slide the uh, ribbon tail through it. I don't do right in the middle of worm. I come up just a little bit forward. But what's nice about the power worms is they got all these little ribs on them, so it holds your O-ring in place. All right, so there's my O-ring. There's my, uh, my Nico hook. So I tend to go from the nose of the bait back. So your hook's pointing up as that worm is falling, like so. You can use, there's lots of different Nico or nail weights, whatever you want to use. You can just this one's just a, a lead one, but so you're just sticking that in the nose of the bait. And the thing about a Nico rig is it falls almost straight down and it falls a lot quicker than it does a shaky head or a Texas rig. So you can actually use lighter weights in it and still get a faster fall than you will out of the other. The reason, because the bait goes straight down like this, where if you got a shaky head, it tends to glide a little bit more. And a Texas rig actually falls like this more. Um, it doesn't glide. So, but that would be a 12 inch Nico rigged power worm. So if you're gonna fish offshore, super deadly, big fish, you know, two pounders will eat it no problem, but now you got the opportunity to catch a monster fish wherever you go. So just different ways of rigging 10 inch and 12 inch Berkeley power worms or whatever big worm you wanna throw. Uh, just don't limit 
these setups to finesse worms. They work really well with big baits, fishing offshore, great techniques for fishing summertime. So if you're liking these videos, you like this video particularly, make sure you like, subscribe, Skeet Reef Fishing. Until next time, let's go jack some more.